Well, well, thanks for coming. We're going to uh, begin. And I wanted to thank everybody uh, for making it to the, to the scene here, and especially uh, Bill Cole for coming to what's not to play. And uh, Bill and I were just seeing how long we've been playing together. And we, it has been about five years. And we were, uh, this is not, Bill's from uh, Pittsburgh. And oh, thank you. See, remember that. You, you forgot about that? No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't forget it, but... Uh, I thought that... I was thinking about what to say, and I thought that that's it, an important part of uh, who you are. Oh, absolutely. And it's... Uh, there have been a lot of people who have uh, come from Pittsburgh who were uh, influential in music. Mm -hmm. and I, I listed a few today that I could think of. Uh, Mary Lou Williams. Yep. Yeah. Earl Hines. Yep. Ahmad Jamal. Uh -huh. Billy Eckstein, yep. Harold Garner, yep. Art Blakey, Art Blakey, and Billy Strayhorn. And Billy Strayhorn. You could probably name a bunch of others, but it, partly what that means in a way is that there are a lot of people uh, who aren't necessarily from Pittsburgh, but who wanted to be there. And, uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> do you think, uh, like musicians would come to, I mean, other musicians would, could, could come there. Yeah. I don't mean other humans would want to live there. I didn't mean that. They, they came here to play. They came here to play. They came to play, though. Yeah. They, there would be an audience. and So I was thinking of what a great uh, experience. You, you're fortunate that you were in a place where you, you, you there was great there was great music and great players, and that you were um, aware enough that you could uh, catch it and, and see and hear music like you know, like we're like the modern jazz quartet, or like John Coltrane, or Thelonious Monk, or who might a lot everybody that's interesting. You know, they had a great opportunity to hang out with those people, be around. I just um, I had a little taste of that, but I wasn't didn't have that much. And I know it's uh, it's nothing like it. And it's uh, even after sixty years go by, you really remember hearing Thelonious Monk or something. They really it's just a. Uh, like, mm -hmm. Amazing. And another interesting uh, the thing I mentioned before we start to play is that uh, my father was also from Pittsburgh, and uh, he was, yeah, and he was uh, a Jewish dentist. Oh, Bill's father me. was a dentist yeah. in Pittsburgh at the same yeah. time, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I don't know what that has to do with that, but it's kind of an amazing fact. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, well, that, maybe that's why we got together. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, I think my, I don't know when my father left Pittsburgh. I think it was in the around 1940 or something. And so I don't. The Second World War. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that uh, no. during the Second World War, that the city of Pittsburgh produced 84 percent of the world's steel? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So well, that's. I, a, I, I lived. Uh, about um, five blocks from one of the mills. That's a, that's a challenge. Uh, and then the other thing I want to say, partly for people here probably know, but for the, 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 the YouTube audience, and uh, Bill's and, uh, and, uh, has, has taught and thought uh, Ethnomusicology for a, a long time, and it's just uh, it's just uh, formed, uh, but of course, it formed all your playing and all your your concept of music and your listening. To music, I think that's an important thing. And and then the, there's other big contribution. In case people haven't read these books, there's a great book about Miles Davis that still holds up. That is uh, a lot of information, and and one of the best parts for me reading it is that I that Bill. Uh, listens for himself and doesn't rely on this person said this uh he, he just he, he has his own uh as well as biography and stuff where you you try to get the facts and who played when and but the, uh, the I, I like that part of the book that the uh, the listening and the, how you reacted to it or what who play, who was played a good solo on that record and, and then there's a famous book about coltrane that, that he wrote in the early 1970s, it was, uh, it was the first book that I that I read about Coltrane. That's one of the first ones, and it's it's and everybody has read it. It's still really good. 
uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, concentrating on the aspect of the influence of African spirituality on, uh, on Coltrane's music, which is a topic that uh, nobody else has touched. You know, it's, it's more, it's, it's, it's all really, I think, uh, they don't worth, believe. worthwhile to say. They don't believe It's what? They don't believe it. Maybe nobody believes you're right. <laughs> yeah, that could be correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but nobody's. That could be the answer. Yeah. Well, you should think again, like I did. Yeah, no, I think that there's a big deal. It's a big deal, and that guy Phyllis one day, who you've told me more about, is uh, worth uh, yeah, worth knowing about it. And how are you going to know about it except to read read that book, Phyllis one day. You know, it, it, yeah, yeah. So let's let's play some music. We're going to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Count it off. <laughs> oh, it's <a> kind of <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know if the audience should interject, but this instrument, as I understand, was made over in West Bridgewater. That's right. It's a white piece. I thought. I, I thought he. I, I thought he made beautiful. I'm just going to ask you about the lights. Sir. Is that all right? Is it best up here? Seeing? No, it's okay. I, yeah. Okay, I got. For me, that's easier on my eyes, but I'll yep. no. so. <laughs> Thank you. 
This ethnomusicology teacher you when know, I went to college uh, who was a Hungarian woman named Magi Yampur. I think I might have talked about her a little bit. She, she used to uh, say to the class, uh, what is the music? What is the music? And like, what, you know, she wanted somebody to answer. Like that there was some, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just some question in a book. You know, you say, what? I think sometimes uh, one of the very nice things about uh, playing with Bill and, and, and listening to uh, music, uh, the Bill Cole uh, Untempered Ensemble, is sometimes uh, thoughtful questions like that will come up. You know, like you think, uh, what is the nature of what is, uh, what is music? It's, uh, well, when we all when we play music, we all play from a tradition, but there's, uh, there's a lot of aspects that come up. What is the music? <laughs> Who knows? No, nobody has a really definitive uh, last word. <laughs>
Sure, you take a beating. <laughs> <laughs> Some will figure it out at least one. <laughs> he did pretty well, Sam. <laughs>
moment. Yeah. Or the play on this floor. <laughs> uh, uh, Thank you.